So today we're going to go over the other angles formed by parallel lines and their relationships to one another. So when two or more parallel lines, that is these two lines right here, are cut by a transversal, which there's one transversal here and one transversal here, their alternate interior angles are congruent and alternate exterior angles are congruent. So if you remember what an alternate interior angle is, it's just those angles that when you pair them up, they form a Z right here. They're alternate because they alternate what side and what part of the line they're on and now we know that they're congruent so I can say that the measure of angle 1 is 87 I can do the same thing this way draw my alternate interior angles with angle 2 and this angle right here so that means that angle 2 is 93 degrees and I can't do that over here because I don't know what these are, what these measures are, but I can use the other part of this and say that alternate exterior angles are congruent because this and is important because both of these are congruent. So I start with angle 3 and I draw my line down and go on to the other side so that means that 3 has to equal 85 degrees and if I do it the other way starting with 95 going down to 4 that means the measure of angle 4 has to be 95 degrees because I know these angles are congruent So using those two rules, we're going to find the missing measurements of this quadrilateral. So I know this line, we'll call this AD, is parallel to BC. And we know that AD is parallel to DC, or AB, sorry. So I want to find the measure of angle 1. Well, if you look at this, BD is the transversal that cuts these two parallel lines in half. So that means that the alternate interior angles of these two lines are congruent. So if we start along this first line, come down the transversal, go over this other parallel line, because both of, both sets of parallel lines are cut by this transversal. I know that ang the measure of angle 1 has to be 38 degrees. And if I look at these two parallel lines this time instead of these two they're also cut by this transversal BD so I'm gonna start because I know their alternate interior angles are congruent so I'm gonna start with this first parallel line come down the transversal BD and go over to this parallel line and that means angle 2 has to be 86 degrees because they have they're congruent, which means they have equal measures. So we have one more example we're going to do. So find the missing measurements. So this is what we need to find. So the first thing we're going to do is find out what this what this measure angle equals because then I can use my supplementary 
my knowledge of supplementary angles to find out what the measure of angle 23 is. Okay, so I can find this out because I know that these two lines are parallel. They're cut by this transversal so that their alternate interior angles are congruent. So that means this has to be 65 degrees as well. So now that I know what that angle equals, I can use my supplementary not my knowledge of supp supplementary angles. Set 23, this is angle 23, not the number 23, plus, plus 65 equals 180. If I subtract the 65 over, I get angle 23 equals 115. Okay, so if you notice these marks right here, this means that these two angles are congruent so this has to equal 65 as well and if you look this angle and this angle are also supplementary so we're going to do the same thing to 25 angle 25 plus 65 equals 180 so angle 25 also has to equal 115 degrees So, oh, wrong one, 115 degrees. So, last, if I look at these two parallel lines here, they're cut by this transversal, so that means that they're alternate interior angles are congruent. So if I start here on this parallel line, come down the transversal and go across, I know that six that 24 has to equal 65 degrees. So that's it for parallel lines, but make sure you come back and check out the videos on polygons next.